friends, uh, this is Jeanette filming from San Antonio, Texas. It is the first video of the week. Uh, due to I underwent a surgery on my breast, so I was under recovery. My face is not in the best interest due to the steroids I got. Thank God everything is okay. Uh, was just something that I have to take care of and it was a time you know to get removed but in a way um i want to welcome you to my channel today thank you so much for all of my subscribers thank you so much for tuning into my channel thank you for liking and viewing my videos i highly and really appreciate it this channel doesn't have any sponsors um everything you are going to see me demonstrating uh as on my makeup review videos I buy it if you can scroll into my videos I'm a pretty new on this platform um, but I really appreciate you know for the love and for all the people that have stopped to watch the content of my video teaching makeup and also teaching product um, that is the only purpose of for, for me doing the makeup review is to educate you know all of you about formulation performance um, if the product is sufficient you know for you uh, to spend your money on it that is the only purpose okay I'm not here to compare anything I think uh, every single makeup in its own nature is beautiful um, whatever cannot work for me my work for you so welcome you to my channel again don't forget to subscribe like and comment please my videos are filmed 4k using a 60 to 70 percent of natural light and the other 30 percent of artificial light that come from my sleigh station so i invite you for today's make a makeup tutorial day slash review i have beautiful things I've been receiving lately instead a few minutes ago I received some of the most <laughs> controversial palette I've seen on all social media which is from Natasha Denona the palette I need a nude palette okay so but before jumping into that one I also I would love to present to you this gorgeous palette my friend I don't hear I don't see many videos you know about this stunning production okay by by Rado remembrance look the presentation from by Rado in ordering the palette from them how stunning my love it is the packing i was mesmerized so we're going to be speaking a little bit about that look at this this palette have a little bit of everything this palette was made in italy it was it was a yes since the blemishes were exacerbated due to the steroids i came one time one more time to my charlotte tilbury my hollywood flawless filter i love it friends if you are having like me <laughs> a rough day and your skin is not behaving oh my gosh this illuminator other than just doing, being a, an illuminator, the blur of your imperfection that this product produced, my friend, it is just insane. It's good to know that Charlotte Tilbury bring this product back. So this product is a must go. Oh my. And it is an illuminator. Many people confuse this product with a foundation because have a tint. It is not. Once and you apply it in your face, diffuse completely clear, blurring the redness, blurring the pores, and giving you, oh my, 
this natural glow okay so i started my face with this the shade i'm using is the one fair pay continuing i want to sublimage the Just channel it's a very light um taint okay good enough for this kind of base because it gives me a lot of moist that i need due to my face it's been extremely extremely dry so i did apply sublimage le taint as my foundation the shade i'm using my loves is a b20 and as you already know it's a serum foundation okay infused with camellia it's an ultimate radiant regeneration serum foundation okay so the shade i use is the b20 as you already know this comes with its own brush i use the brush the nature of this foundation is extremely extremely lightweight but need to be applied with something like that in order to get the proper coverage and using le potre universe libre from chanel as well i set my tea zone i love this powder as well because it give me a plus without caking or baking my face uh, take care you know not only for the setting um, effect but also uh, take care you know retaining the hydration on my skin and lastly i use chanel le corrector concealer using the b10 I choose for this one again because since I've been facing a lot of dryness on my face that was the best combo let us start from the most recent purchases I've done about by Redo eyeshadow palette that had me honestly my loves in a way you haven't experienced yet any purchase with this website i highly highly recommend it look at that and the palette came inside with a complete protection box so i was telling you look at this beauty look at this beauty is it's like a plastic case but it's hard it's a hard plastic had a gorgeous gorgeous mirror there with a b from byredo and look at this 18 shades on this palette okay but meanwhile I, i'm holding the palette i'm going to tell you a little bit uh, information about this beauty it is a limit edition okay that is why it was a little bit harder for me to find it it is a limit edition palette inspired by a remembrance of things past and blending of color and emotion second skin texture in warm nudes roses and browns are just opposed with silvers color travel from light to dark have matte and radiant shine finish it with instinctive and sensual pigment the elegance of color is effortless it is a halo 
of memory where things are refined and romanticized. Okay, whatever I can say about this palette, my friends, I am short. If this is the only palette that you have in your possession, my friend, let me tell you the versatility in this palette since a week ago from nude, copper, brown, chocolate, roses, uh, goldish, moth shades are just endless. Okay? What a beautiful combination. I did try some swatches on my arm. Okay? This was the same day I got the palette. Well, my friends, how was the surprise? I was so mesmerized, okay, once, because the formulation is extremely, extremely smooth. Let me swatch, okay, this shade over here on the corner, barely touching the palette. Then the formulation is extremely sublime, extremely soft, extremely kind of delicate, okay? This is not a palette and you are going to be strict, okay? Because the pigmentation is really, really strong, okay? So I'm going to start for that shade. As you can see over there, it's completely metallic. I was okay. explaining I'm not the best by making swatches. But friends, let me tell you that when I did the swatches before, I forgot to remove this product from my arm. What well, was my surprise in the following day when I woke up, I have every single other shade on my arm. Oh my. This is a gorgeous shimmery, dry wet formulation this one this palette couldn't be more exquisite beautiful Definitely a shimmer shade. Bigger particles. I'm going to make a very good swatch. And I'm going to make a difference with the one that is actually foil. Okay? The very last one is foil. And this one is shimmery. So I'm giving you one more time a look. To every single of the shades, the shades fluctuate between the coppery, brownish, chocolate, rose, silver, gold, mute mauve. Oh my, it's everything you would love to see in an eyeshadow palette, okay? And fluctuating between the metallic and dry wet formulation, so everything is condensed in one palette my loves so I'm going to get ready just to put them in action this amazing beauty okay highly pigmented made in Italy I couldn't be more happy I did one eye offline for reasons of time but I'm going to proceed and do the other eye with you it's a revolutionary brand okay so my friends, I'm going to start with this eye. I start applying. I'm going to tell you all the shades that I use. I start by applying this right shade here along my crease, okay? And the reason of doing this 
is to give a little structure to my eye, okay? As a typical, you know, cut eye that I normally end here, I'm rounding it upward, okay? As you can see, I'm really going in circles. So now I'm going to proceed and dip my brush into this more deepest brown, like a beige. Um, you know the perfect definition of what I'm experiencing right now? It is glassy, a glassy finish. I know, um, what is the name? Isamaya. Isamaya came with a palette that is pure pigment. Um, even though when you diffuse this shade on the eyelid, look like a gold finish okay um, but I'm going to keep dipping on the even now look one touch the intention of doing this is dipping between this shade and this deep brown, okay? And it's still working for dimension. Look at that payoff. And I'm working uh, with a MAC cosmetic brush. It's a blending brush. So now my friends, I'm going to grab this fluffy brush and I'm going to apply a tiny little bit of the metallic silver. This one, the very last one. And the outer portion where I can connect this gorgeous brown shade, okay? And marry the shades together. And passing my crease because I want the same effect as you see there we go they remind me a little bit about the Cosmo palette I hope that you can observe what I'm doing okay my loves um, I've been explaining before is no 100% perfect makeup, okay? So don't be harsh of yourself and enjoy your work. So now I'm proceeding with the gold, this gold here, this one, is the only gold, well, one of the many golds because but the most gold, this one, okay? And I'm going to apply it on the center toward the inner, okay? This 
these shades, my friends, are the most finest thing I ever seen. Don't be afraid. And again, passing the crease. Okay, don't be afraid of playing with your product. I'm going to be using my index finger to apply this gorgeous glassy gold. You are going to have palette for a while and let me tell you um i haven't mentioned yet but i'm going to chill <laughs> in two weeks so how nice it is i will go to chile where spring is starting so i'm going to have an extra time using all these shades all this gorgeousness i hope that you can observe what is happening so if i have to look up you're going to see the reflection of the gold and the silver okay Here in the inner, I'm going with the same silver, starting from my inner, not lower, just from the inner. This shade smells like butter. trying to marry all the colors okay but at the same time to make a distinction between one and the other one okay look at that so you can tell over there is the silver over here over here is the gold and the inner is the gold is a silver shade oh my Okay, to tell you something, friends, I'm playing with one, two, three, four, five, six shades out of 18, okay? So for this makeup look, wow. And I'm going to grab this nail art craft completely flat brush look see this is just like glass I'm making the most out of it there we go so you can actually observe, you know, what is going on there with my hourglass, the 1.5 millimeter. I'm going to proceed and apply this product on my waterline, upper waterline. see and um, with my tone 4 
I will go over very close to the lash line, okay? One of the side is retiring, so I don't know which one, what's, which side is, okay? Yeah, something really soft, my friends. As you can see on this side, the line is not really pronounced. What I'm doing there is making sure my loves, I'm not leaving any gap, okay? I'm going to apply the eyelash and I come back. I'm here, extremely happy because my eyelash was behaving extremely well at the first attempt, got in place. Sometime this eye, it is a hassle. Just I'm applying the mascara I'm using Gucci, Le Obscure, from the root to marry my eyelashes. And I'm going to proceed with you applying my bronzer and for the purpose my loves i'm going to be using chanel and this is called less beige cream bell healthy glow bronzing cream is the 390 soleil tan bronze so i'm going to start you remember here is your halo okay on that portion of your halo you should be having the contour, correct? So, and I'm using a very dense uh, face powder brush that doesn't have a number. It's from the collection of Morphe. I love to apply my bronzing everywhere. Where I see bone, okay? With a very soft hand, I go around buffing with a very light hand. So you can see the definition of my cheekbone and the halo. Okay, I'm not touching the halo, I'm go going, I'm sorry, above. Okay. Imagine my loves you are completely gorgeously tan. This is how this makeup look is intended, okay? So using Les Chanel, Les Beige, 390, bronzing, power, a cream powder. It's a cream, actually. How a beautiful shade is super natural. It's just a gorgeous product, friends. And you have so much product. If you decide to invest on something like that, you are going to have product for a while, okay? And for my blush, what a very better occasion now that we are showing amazingly high-end product. I'm going to be using my gorgeous, gorgeous new release from Christian Dior 537 gram ball okay look at this beauty remember on the review on the video I just post I was mentioning over there my loves that this shade the gram ball which is the only blush from Christian Dior for this fall winter collection can be used all around the year, okay? So now, grabbing a Scott Barn, and this is the brush number 64. The 64 from Scott Barnes. I'm going to put very little. Remember, this is the area where I did apply the bronzing. So now, I'm going slightly above
a very light hem. I'm going to on the direction of my mouth, okay? So I start from high going down. I'm not starting high here because sometimes, you know, I'm going to have the tendency to put the blush too high and I don't like it really much because you need to have a certain structure in your face okay um i'm very cheeky and <laughs> cheeky and limit edition and case wise but permanent shade which made me super happy and my love so look at the finish of this blush oh my you have no idea how much i regret not having the first one this is the second palette so far I understand and my loves let me tell you you have the opportunity to invest on a palette like this my friend it's a must go okay don't wait you still having the opportunity because by radio.com they still having the palette available. This channel is not a sponsor, my friends. So the information, the feedback I'm giving to you is completely honest. I will never, ever, ever to recommend something if I don't think is worth it of your money. The eyelashes I use today is called Falsetto from Scott Barnes. It's called the Street Eyelashes 100% Synthetic. Colors glue my applicator and now as it is usual we're going to start playing with shadow and light so now going with my gorgeous hourglass butterfly which it was a limited edition friends it was an a limit edition and by now it's not anymore on the website okay so what I'm doing my loves I'm applying a tiny little light which is the middle the center of my forehead the bridge and I'm swiping between the three face powders okay for the purpose I won't put the product here because i have texture okay but i'm going above here okay make a huge difference and i still getting light but not emphasizing or enhancing the texture of my chin okay you need to place your product smart so on the wall or the nose we normally have light or i emphasize light in this portion of my face my friend i couldn't have enough with this palette honestly oh my goodness i'm so in love i'm so in love let us see, I'm going for the addict. Look at that. What do you think? It's mainly the gloss. It's a Hi, uh, how is called Dior Lip Addict. So, being say, my friend, you can apply your setting spray. This is my latest uh, purchase. Super in love with the performance because this product actually lack the makeup on your face. Okay, making the makeup staying intact for so many hours my loves i hope that you really enjoy this beautiful makeup look i hope that you really enjoy this 
beautiful time I'm spending with this gorgeousness. Wow. This palette is to go for a very long time. Now that I'm going to Chile, my friends, this baby is coming with me. Being said, I say goodbye. Thank you for staying with me until this point. Thank you for giving me your time to reviewing and giving the opportunity to this awesome, awesomeness. Thank you very much to all of my subscribers. Thank you for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, uh, comment and subscribe, please, uh, because that helps my channel to grow and I can keep bringing you uh, the latest news regarding the makeup artistry. Okay, I do makeup. That is my main focus. I do makeup, I teach makeup, and I love sharing, you know, the awesomeness of the product. So I'm going to start getting ready for my next segment. I'm going to be listing and linking every single of the product I use for today's makeup look. Thank you so much. I'm going to take some pictures and see you soon.